Hello everyone, my name is Mara, and today's case is honestly so incredibly sad. It's about a woman who is a living Jane Doe. She was found in Detroit, Michigan, and does not remember her name or where she came from. I want to remind everyone before I start though, I do my very best to research every case that I cover. I'm hoping to just help get her information out there and hoping that someone maybe will recognize her and she can be reunited with her loved ones. This woman was discovered around 2013 in the streets of Detroit, Michigan. She's a double amputee at the knees and missing her left pinky. She possibly suffers from amnesia. And when asked her name, she has referred to herself as China Black. Also, CJ Jones and Joynez Johnson. I've seen the main name used in articles and information, though, is China Black. And I think that's the main name she uses to refer to herself as well. She is an African-American woman who is assumed to be older than 40 years old. But she does not remember her birthday. She also believes she attended Cooley and Osborne High Schools in the Detroit area. Her hair is black and slightly graying and her ears are pierced. And since she was a homeless woman, it's unsure if she even had a wheelchair. And if this wheelchair is from a hospital, they have not been able to track which hospital she was treated at, which honestly is really unfortunate. If they were able to track where she got the wheelchair from, I was thinking maybe they could find out her name or her birthday, any type of information to help lead in the direction of where her loved ones are or her name or any of that would be super helpful. China believes to have had a husband named Peter Smith and a son named David who lives in California. They have not been able to identify any men, but how common those names are, I can imagine it would be extremely difficult. Um, she also said that she thinks her dad is named Big Al and drove a black pickup truck and that her mother was born in Lakeland, Florida. She believes the amputation happened when she was hit by a car leaving McDonald's, but there are no accident records that have been found to prove this story so far. She also sadly had been homeless for quite some time, so it could have been frostbite that caused the need for amputation. China went to live at the Beyond Boundaries Adult Foster Care in Romulus, Michigan in 2017. Uh, I think it's so amazing that they have places like this. She is currently the only living Jane Doe among the cases for the DNA Doe project. Her DNA has been through the combined DNA index system with no matches, sadly. She has been featured on multiple Detroit news stations and has a name us profile that I'll link in the description down below. Authorities have said if she is identified, no relatives will be responsible for her care and she can remain a ward of the state. They just want her to be able to have her identity back. And honestly, there is very little information about her since she does not remember. If you or anyone you know has any information, please speak up. I will leave the phone number down below um, for Beyond Boundaries Adult Foster Care, but I think any amount of little information could really help and maybe lead her to remember something or remember another name. I feel as though, or maybe I am just being hopeful, that someone out there knows something and can help lead this woman to some type of answer about who she is and her life before she lost her memory. That's really all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.